welcome back. This is Arcade Night, and King Robert has made the tough decision to wait on the arrival of the Crusader army. But guys, how long can this army hold out waiting while my lords abandon me every single day? So sit back on your coffee thrones, grab a golden chalice of your favorite tasty beverage as we play 1257 AD. The Crown Crusades. We are taking a bit of a risk waiting for the Crusader army to get here. Now, I know it's going to take them some time, some time indeed, uh, but the king is not foolish. <laughs> if I see a huge army heading this way, we're going to find the best way to evade it. So so let's get out here, guys. I want to make sure I go to the tavern first. Now let's talk to the lady of the night, the madam. Make sure my army is feeling good and rested and ready for the next phase of this crusade. And now, guys, I've got Safed under control. Tripoli is being held by Lord Lancier right now. One of my most trusted lords. And I could use him as... A backup army if need be now here's what I'm thinking if, if it's gonna take several days for that Crusader army to get here I may have to sacrifice Safed to keep Tripoli and above keep Tripoli Antioch Tarsus that's not so bad In the next Crusade then maybe we can try to take this middle area the best we can um, understanding that Jerusalem or maybe down here towards this gay rack is basically the very end of what we would want to conquer for this crusade but don't forget this island Nicosia is looking very tempting as well but uh, I just want you to make make you guys aware that losing south it may be all part of this plan now here's what I need to make sure I can do uh, try to keep as many lords as, as I can helping the king have new task I want you to go to south it will, will you stay in south it heal up your men no, you won't. I believe Frederick's going to leave me. No. Okay. Manuel Magus, what about you, good sir? You task you go to Safed? Oh, you're going to leave me as well. Okay, so I'd started with seven. So um, that's one, two, three, four, five. So I lost two. I'm going to lose another two. So it looks like I'm down to three. Down to three. Wait, let's see. Peter Denton. I know that's you, Peter Denton. Let, let's talk. Will you go to Safed for your king? Oh, thank you, good sir. Thank you. And then, Kabutqua, I don't even have to ask you. I know you will do what I'll ask. Go to, where, where is it, Safed? Ah, very well, very well. Okay, so here's the plan. Tripoli's being taken care of. I've got a couple of lords in Safed. In retrospect, I probably should have handed out, handed out these fiefs to some, some of my lords instead of defer an appointment. In other mods, when you defer appointment, you get a lot more men in the garrison. Plus, you can go ahead and you can reinforce the garrison. But in this mod, when you defer appointment, you cannot reinforce the garrison um, because the garrison belongs to the citizens and population of that particular town or castle. So, we're in a bit of a problem here where we have to defend these castles um, with minimal garrisons. So th this will be interesting, but it's all part of the challenge. Now, I have these two lords leaving me. I have one, two, three lords left of the, the seven. What I'm going to do is I'm going to camp out outside of Safed and see what develops. Now, it looks like my party's doing pretty good. Yeah, I'm, I'm in really good shape. Marcus Aurelius is a little injured, but I, th I think these men will heal up. Into, oh, here we go. Here's what I'm looking for. Now, I don't see any other coming from the south. I don't see any armies coming from the south. So can we... Oh, they're scared of the king. They're scared of the king. And I don't know if I can take all of them on. But they, they don't seem... I think that they're... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, already Saf has been besieged. Oh, no. Okay, let's see. 144 men. 23 horse archers. They have tons of cavalry, but we're all cavalry. We're all cavalry. Hmm. He's got a huge army behind him, I bet. But let's, let's cut them off. 
Oh, you better run. Let's just take on this army, perhaps. Oh, and look, they've... Oh, look at them. They are looking much better. They're looking so much better. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay, let, let's go ahead and do this battle really quickly. Let, let's, let's gather all our knights. All of our knights. Let's see if the Hospitaller's back. But I'll take all the knights with me. And we will charge gloriously into battle. But first of all, infantry hold at the top of this ridge. Archers, if I have them, hold at the top of this ridge. Oh, here they come. Here they come. Come on, cavalry. Come on. They have so few men on horseback. Are, are you ready for this? Well, I see you coming with your spear. I don't think so. All right, come on, knights. Charge through. Charge through. Yeah, it looks like Bloodhorf is not the horse he used to be. I may have to find another horse in good time. All right, let's go ahead and send the cavalry in charging. Harass the back of their lines. Come on, Bloodhoof. Make it through. Make it through. There you go. There you go, Bloodhoof. Okay. Knights are doing an amazing job. I'm so glad I, I, I took the time getting as many senior knights as I've gotten. Because uh, it, <laughs> it has definitely helped out. It's definitely helped out going on such an epic adventure like this, guys. With the best possible army. It, it just can't hurt. All right, I think this is about done. I say that's a nice casualty report. Very nice casualty report. And um, it looks like Kabutqua is very happy about it indeed. Did we get any upgrading? No. It really wasn't a challenge for my men. Um, but we can get some prisoners that would probably just slow us down. I'm just, just not into that right now. Um, and yeah, money is not something we need either. The king is doing pretty well. All right, so it looks like... Guys, I was expecting a much bigger army to be following that, but it, I believe we've got Safed under control. All right, I'm, I'm going to let my men lead the front. Okay, so I'm going to tell them to follow me. Let's see. I'm going to have you, sir, follow me. I know you are trusted and a good warrior, and uh, Sir Peter didn't. Um, I'm going to make sure you go back to Safed and protect it. Seems like I cannot... There you are, Safed. Okay, so... I've got two lords with over 100 men in their army. Between him protecting Safed, Lancia protecting Tripoli, Kabukwa following me, I think we can stall enough to where we can get this Crusader army on the shores of the Holy Land in time. Alright, so let's see. Let's see what, what we can do here. I was expecting to see a bigger army, frankly. But I, I don't see it. I don't see it. So guys, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait until the Crusader army gets here. Or a huge Mamluk Sultanate army <laughs> tries to attack. Oh, and, and here it is. Here's this huge Mamluk Sultanate army. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Help Peter Denton. Help Peter Denton. Oh, this is, a, this is a good battle, guys. This is a good battle. Okay. All right. This is what I've been waiting for. A nice battle. Let's have everyone follow the king. We're going we're gonna to try to grab this hilltop here. Can we get there in time? Just go ahead and pre-plan the hilltop with our men on foot. Make sure the hospitalers are holding back. And I've got my lion guard. Got my prince! And got the cavalry following the king. Well, here they are, right at the top here. Someone's challenging. Someone's challenging. Uh, make sure... Ooh. Yep, yep, yep. They, they have some archers. Uh, knights, charge down. Knights, charge down. Let's let's take out these archers in one fell swoop. I'm going to take my lion guard. We're going to take this right flank here. There we go. Nice. Blood hoof. When you're going down hills, you still got it. Yeah, Blood, Ho Blood Hoof is an old horse. He needs a little bit of help. Needs a little bit of help. 
Alright, I, I don't think I can take on 10 men on horseback, but I, I think my knights can. Oh, look, I got I got Marcus. I've got my the rest of my subscriber knights. I, I think there's a, a group of cavalry that's trying to flank around and take out our men on horseback. Uh, our men on foot, I should say. Yeah, there they are. Look at those men. So my knights are taking it though. So my knights have seen it already. We've got more enemies arriving too. Alright, I'm, I'm going to get a, a better grasp of the battlefield. Let's go ahead and send in the infantry. There's no reason for them to just stand around. Yeah, look at those. Look at those men on horseback. Hmm. Looks like the knights are doing a good job. Can I get the knights on me? See if we can cut them off somehow. Yep, they're the knights. <laughs> oh, surprise. Surprise. The full force of my army has just smacked into your face. Beautiful. Beautiful. They didn't even know what hit them. They didn't even know what hit them. Good job, Bloodhoof. You are an old horse indeed, but um, you did well in this battle. You did well. Let's get out of here, guys. No, we've got six left. I'm just going to order my, my troops to do it. Four senior knights were killed in that? That's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. Okay, so we're looking pretty good. We've got another lesser knight. Um, let the companions pick up the rest of that. And now uh, let's see where we're at, guys. So it looks like Safet is still well defended. Um, Peter Denton. Ooh, Lancia, don't, don't leave Tripoli. I'm going to have to send you back. Lancia, ooh, you, you took the brunt of that battle. Um, make sure you go back to Safet. Yeah, stay there, good sir. Stay there. Heal up. Lancia, you, I know you see this battle, and I appreciate it, but uh, you need to go back to Tripoli. You need to hold Tripoli. That's so important. Let's see if I can find Tripoli here. All right. He's, he's so devoted. Thank you. All right, Kabukwa, you're going to stay with me. You know, you always got to remind these these lords to um, to do these tasks as often as you are able to because if not they will start to venture off doing their own things all right so guys we're protecting we're protecting the war front waiting for that crusader army still there's some more mamluk sultanates take a sip of my tasty beverage guys huh. when is that crusader army gonna get here <laughs> it's just taking forever all right it looks like we're gonna have another little battle here to hold them off <sighs> yeah. Uh, all right, I'm gonna take on the big one. You take on the small one. Hmm. No, let me take it on with you. I don't want to weaken you. Um, you you should already know who I am, good sir. I mean, come on. I know it saddens you. I know. I know. Oh, Nicosia. Uh, you know, I'm gonna take that pretty soon. Maybe on the next crusade. All right, here's another good battle, guys. Another good battle. Ooh, and the weather is terrible. Terrible. Everybody on me. This actually is probably in our benefit. If they have any archers, it's not going to help them. What I'm going to do is I'm holding back the infantry, guys. I'm holding back the archers because um, if I need them in sieges, I don't want to waste them here in, 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 in a battle like this when really the knights are the best thing to use. Um, so I have my line guard following on me, I have my knights following on me, the cavalry following on me. Let's see. If we come around this way. Yep. Yeah. We, don't, we don't even know what we're looking at, frankly. But we know we're going to have to take it to them. And we've, we've got superior numbers. We've got the knights on horseback. All we got to do is flank them. All we have to do is flank them. Now, let's see. Let's go ahead and take the... Hmm. See, I, I'm not in control of anything other than my cavalry, my lion guard. That's fine. All right, let's go. They won't even know we're coming. Let's do formation. Let's have them spread out a little bit. Frankly, I don't think I'm going to get enough speed to do that with old old blood hoof. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I think this will work. There 
There we go, knights. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful, knights. Beautiful. Don't you, you get away from the king? I don't think so. Peasants, infidels, you all die today. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It is looking... It is a wonderful day for death. Oh, it looks like more of them have spawned in. I'm going to go ahead and send the infantry just to make sure we've got everybody here. But guys, the senior knights, in my opinion, are the best troop in this mod. And they are just wrecking. Wrecking the Mamluks Sultanate. Wrecking these infidels. Oh, it's, it's a glorious sight. Glorious sight. If you too want to do a crusade, make sure you bring 200 senior knights with you as well. It appears from that battle I freed someone. Who are you? You are... Oh, Kingdom of France. Indeed. I see. I see. And I wonder if you if you held lands here and you just lost it. Like Safet, perhaps. <laughs> um, so you go free. We've got a uh, relationship increase with France. I mean, this is... This is all helping both kingdoms out. Um, so very good. Let's see. Anything worth taking? Hmm. I, I'm, I, like I said, I don't really want to slow myself down. If you got anybody on horseback, I'll take you. But uh, the rest of you men, um, you need to fend for yourselves. Because you cannot slow us down. And uh, nope, nope. Nothing, nothing, nothing that I want. Now before I forget, I'm going to go ahead and change out Bloodhoof. I, I don't know. Just Bloodhoof is not performing like he used to. Armor 45, speed 30. I know it all looks the same. It's just, he seems so slow lately. I don't know. He's just not the horse he used to be. So Peter Denton appears to be creating problems, patrolling around Zaphit. Just just let those men go back to Acre. Just let him go. Oh, let him go back to Acre. Just, just leave him there. Just leave him there, Peter. Peter, Peter, follow me. Follow me, good sir. You don't need to do that. It's fine. Okay, so it looks like a huge part of their army, what they have left of it, is an acre. Munford Castle's okay. So here's what I say. Let's call this the border, right? You can have everything uh, south of Beirut, and we'll have everything north until my crusader army gets here to secure our lands. And who knows what they're going to do? I mean, they, they may try to conquer uh, Munford Castle or Acre on their own, but... Um, I, I can't control that, obviously. Still waiting on that Crusader army, guys. When they get here, something happens. I'm going to cut right back. So I'm going to see you guys in a second. The king has been waiting anxiously for the Crusader army to arrive to relieve my forces so we can hold on to what we captured. And of course, the Pope has let me down. Once again, the Crusader army has marched and sailed and landed so far south. Guys, they, they are now as far south on the Nile as you could possibly get. Right outside this fortress. And I don't even see them sieging it yet. So hopefully, maybe, they can cause a little trouble all the way far down south here. To where the Mameluke army won't bother us. And we can hold on to the north. So, so maybe that's his tactic. We'll see what happens, but uh, right now, I am still waiting on to see if they're going to do anything. Because, uh, guys, we're getting close to, to needing to pull out of here. We're needing to get back to to the United Kingdoms and um, hand out all these fiefs. But, uh, Peter Denton, wh why don't you follow me? I'm going to ask you to follow me. And we're just going to make sure no armies venture into our new captured lands. Oh, there we go. Let's see if we can get them one at a time, right? One at... Oh, wait a minute. Here's a nice little army indeed. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this. Surrender or die, good sir. Surrender or die. Let's go ahead and charge the enemy. We have 242 uh, against their meager force. And guys, if we, we can take them out one at a time like this, I think we'll be in pretty good shape. There you go, knights. Charge in. Charge in for your king. Beautiful. Even though it's a rainy day, it's a beautiful day for a battle. Oh. You out. Uh, broke your shield, good sir. Broke your shield. 
and destroyed your infantry. Will anyone escape? I don't think so. There we go. Excellent. Excellent. I, I like what I'm seeing. I like what I'm seeing. So guys, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try and take out as many armies as we can, secure these holy lands, and then we're going to have to discuss what we're going to do to secure them in the meantime while we sell all the way back to, to the United Kingdoms because a lot could happen until then. And it doesn't look like I'm going to find the Sultan to make peace with him anytime soon. Two more enemies left. Come on, guys. Finish off these enemies. There we go. There we go. Come on, men. I, be I believe that's all of them. Very good. Very good. Oh, yeah, go ahead and do that. And it looks like he escaped. That's fine. That's fine. Let the companions pick up the rest of that. And we got more stragglers. More stragglers. As I push deeper, I, I find there's there's a bigger army trailing behind them. A much bigger army. And, and they have invaded. They have crossed the border. Past Beirut. I, I, I cannot accept it. I, I want you men to go back to Acre. Go. 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 Move yourselves back to Acre. And I think if I can capture it. Yep. Let's do one more battle. Yep, I think this is what we need to do. Just to weaken them enough. Alright, infantry. I'm going to have the infantry hold on the top of this ridge here. Cavalry, of course, all on all on me. Um, I don't believe I have any archers. Oh, but there they are. There they are. Oh, this could be a glorious cavalry charge indeed. And I, and I, I believe I see a pathway. I believe I see a pathway right here. This is glorious. It's it's rare, men. You get this opportunity, and we shall seize this opportunity. Are you ready, my good knights? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, men. Come on. So we can get all our knights in one glorious cavalry charge. They're slightly uphill. Can we get enough momentum? I don't know if Canute will have enough momentum. But I'm definitely going to try. Oh, beautiful! <laughs> oh, I love it. Scatter. Scatter, Ifidel. Scatter. The king is here. The king is here indeed. Oh, and the king missed. Don't even know what hit them. There are knights everywhere. They've never seen such a barrage of men. Oh, look at all these poor bastards. Oh, oh no, the king has just lost Canute. No, not Canute. Not Canute. Why are all these men charging at the king? Do you see the foolishness in your deeds, sirs? Oh, it's because it's a spawn point. <laughs> Alright, let me, let me get out of here. It's, it's getting a little bit out of hand. Ah, oh, it's slaughter. That's a slaughter. I think most of my knights have been on horse, though. I'm going to have to send them to, to charge in once more. Oof. I, I still think we've got a fair amount of knights up here. Uh, here here's more of them. Here, here they come. I have the infantry charging in, too. Remember, I've got the knights set up to where if they're unhorsed, they join the infantry. So if the infantry set up far back, uh, a lot of unhorsed knights uh, have a tendency to um, to retreat back to the original lines. But uh, yeah, I've got a look at this group, group of knights with me. I think I think for the most part, I'm going to go ahead and send the rest of the knights charging in. 
The ones on horseback, at least. I'm going to have the infantry hold on me. Because I believe they have 14 men. They're all on horseback. Uh, the Romanian infidel army. Pretty pretty sad. Pretty sad, actually. Oh, we've done it. We've taken another prisoner. I, I, I think we've really put a crippling blow to uh, the Mamluk Sultanate. And, and let's see. Gaelic Knight... Hmm, perhaps we can bring you in the party. See how things go. Any other men on horseback? Yeah, I'll take I'll take a few of you. Refill my ranks as much as possible. I think that's that's it. It's all the men on horseback. Um, any any upgrading? Just uh, just one? Okay. Very good. Let the companions pick up the rest of that junk. We don't need it. And guys, I, I, I think we've done an amazing job of securing the borders. I see I see tons of armies coming up this way, though. Oh, my goodness. We could be doing this for forever, trying to secure the, this border. And that's why I think Safet may be something we're going to have to sacrifice. I'm going to let you cross. I'm going to let you cross. But um, I'm going to head back to Safet, guys, because we've got so much to talk about. Let's make sure Tripoli is secure, too. It, it looks like they are respecting the agreement. They're going to hold down south below Beirut. We're going to hold up north. Just don't want you to go any further up. And um, I think Peter Denton is somewhere out there. I got Kabuko with me. I got Kabuko with me. Tell you what, let's go to Tripoli. I do like Tripoli. Let's go there. Let's go to the Lord's Hall. And, uh, yeah, there's Lancia. There he is! So, guys, we what we've got to do is we've got to discuss how are we going to secure the Holy Lands. Now, first of all, I'm thinking that I'm going to need Marcus Aurelius. I'm going to need you, good sir. I may give you one of these castles, one of these towns, and I'm going to need you to secure the Holy Land while I'm gone, while I make my trip back to the to the United Kingdom. Once I'm there, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start handing out these fief, fiefs to some lords that are well-deserving and also some lords that don't quite have fiefs yet. But guys, uh, you let me know in the comment section, what should we do? I'm, now I'm hoping that Crusader army that's way down south, way down in Egypt, way off the Nile, is going to kind of distract them for a little bit while we make our escape but we very well may lose Safet so if we lose Safet what do we do uh, do we give Tripoli to Marcus or do we give Tripoli I mean or do we give Antioch to Marcus or Tarsus I'm thinking maybe give Tripoli to Marcus and uh, Safet could be our border that's aggressive we could have Safet in Tripoli be our border and uh, give him Antioch. That's a possibility. I mean, Tarsus is, is pretty far. That pushing us pushing us back pretty far. I, I would only want to lose Safet. Hopefully, we can get a peace agreement from them very soon. But, but I'm so curious to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section. And Marcus, you let me know what you think. Which fief should I give you? Do you think Tripoli is the right decision, or would you rather just hold Safet? Would you rather be bold and hold Safet? Guys, let me know in the comment section. Also, I want to hear from all you subscriber knights. What is your suggestion? Uh, ben Picot, Sir the Duke, CSD and Deacon, it goes on and on. But guys, if you enjoyed this episode, go ahead and hit that like button. You know it helps me out so much. Also, it's by far the best and easiest way to help this channel grow. Also, if you're not a subscriber yet, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But guys, I want to thank you for joining me. Unfortunately, on the next episode, it looks like we're going to have to pull out of the Holy Lands and head back home. Uh, but we will continue our crusade. We've got two more crusades to go. So I want to thank you for joining me on 1257 AD, The Crown Crusades.